In this video, we will consider the motion of an object on a frictionless incline of finite length. Uh, as usual, the problem solution presented in this video is incorrect. Try to find uh, the mistake. Let us consider the frictionless incline, which has height 3 meters and length 6 meters. An object starts from the bottom and it has a initial velocity v0 8 meters per second. Our goal is to find the position of the object on incline at given time 2.3 seconds. One of my students suggested the following solution of this problem. First he analyzed the situation when the object is at any position on the incline and consider the forces on the object. There are uh, two forces, one of them is gravity and another is a normal force uh, from the incline. The force of gravity is mg. We don't know normal force, but we don't need it. Next, uh, he found the net force, which is a vector sum of these two forces. This force is along of uh, the incline because the motion is along the incline. And from uh, this uh, drawing, it's possible, easy to find, that net force is force of gravity times sine of alpha. This force uh, is a cause of acceleration of the block and uh, acceleration points in direction of the force and according to second Newton law is given by this equation and using uh, the value of uh, force of gravity we can find magnitude of this acceleration. The next step uh, is to eliminate all forces. It will simplify the problem and consider the motion of the block of this block along the incline, so one-dimensional motion, with acceleration A, which can be found by this formula. Uh, to do uh, this analysis, he introduced uh, the reference frame, so actually only x-axis along uh, the incline, and because acceleration points in negative direction, uh, we need to find x component of acceleration, which in our case is negative g sine alpha. Now uh, he returned to the initial problem. Uh, so we have incline with given parameters. We have a block which is at initial position at the bottom of incline and uh, initial velocity v0. Then uh, the reference frame is along the incline. Acceleration points in opposite direction to velocity. And the student decided to use equation of uh, kinematic equation uh, for motion along a straight line with constant acceleration. This equation is well known, it is here, and parameters of this equation are as follows. Initial position of the object is at zero, so at origin. Initial velocity, which in our case is x component of v0, it is 8 meters per second. Acceleration, as we know, is negative g sine alpha. We don't know alpha, but we will calculate it. The time which is involved in this equation is 2.3 seconds. To find uh, sine alpha, uh, we use the geometry, so we have a right triangle, and sine alpha is just the ratio of h to l. And this ratio, in our case, is equal to 0.5. So angle is 30 degrees 
but actually we need only the sine of this angle. Uh, in numbers, acceleration is negative 4.9 meters per second squared, and now we know everything in this equation and can plug in and find the answer. Uh, the final answer obtained by student is that x at given time is equal to 544 meters. So our object will be somewhere here, somewhere here. So uh, this uh, solution is very simple, but unfortunately it is wrong. And the question is, where is the mistake? I recommend to you to try to solve this problem yourself. And if you want, you can compare the solution with the right solution. The link to the correct solution you can find in description to this video. Also in description, you can find uh, the useful links to short lectures on mechanics, which can help you to understand and solve the problems.